Before Erica Jane was starring on The Real Housewives, she was a real housewife. And though she lived in the lap of luxury, she says she felt unsatisfied and never quite her true self. So she decided to do something about it. Here's ABC's Abby Boudreaux. This I mean, is Hollywood proper. This is where the magic happens. Playing dress up with Erica Jane. You want to put it on? Oh, do I want to put it on? Please, please yeah. put it on. Oh my gosh. It can be a transformative experience. <laughs> Here at her Pretty Mess Clubhouse. And now you I understand like why we're here and yes. you know the creative juices start flowing. A place where she teaches me her signature dance move. Front, side, back, side. As seen on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Roll to the left and pat the top. And roll to the left and pat the top. Her latest song, Expensive, an anthem for how Erica Jane lives her life. It's expensive to be me. With her bombshell curves and platinum hair, Erica Jane is more than just a real housewife of Beverly Hills. Because I don't like bullshit, Dorit, and that's what I think you are. Now she's heating up the dance floor on Dancing with the Stars. I got some damn bad intentions. I think that my life could not be any better. You know, it's pretty incredible. But before there was Erica Jane, the sexy persona on stage, there was Erica Girardi, a doting mother and the wife to a high-powered attorney. I had everything that you want, every material object, everything, but at, inside my core, I still wasn't satisfied. And this is when, about 10 years ago, Erica Jane was born. A sultry temptress without limitations, empowering women of all ages. I just don't see those limitations in life. Like, Someone said to me, you know, how do you feel about dancing against Simone Biles? She's 20 years old. I said, I don't want to be 20 years old anymore. I I'm happy being 45. Women my age are, are valuable, and we have a lot more life to live, and we have so much more to give. And this, all of those old rules, they've been broken. Yeah. That's old way of thinking. The Georgia-born star still considers herself a small-town girl and admits she still struggles with insecurities, despite the fame and fortune. I think that I suffer from what every woman suffers from, which is never being pretty enough, never being thin enough, never being enough, never being smart enough. You know, you can really whip yourself into a frenzy about all the things that you don't have instead of all the great things that you do have. When Erica turned 35, she felt something was missing. I felt like I was just not being myself. I felt like I was hiding. Who were you hiding from? I was hiding from me. I was hiding from sparkle and magic and fun and fearlessness and music and dance and creative magic. Did you know that she was inside of you this whole time? No, no. Really? I just knew I had feelings. I just knew I had thoughts. I knew I had things I wanted to say. Listen, I'm rebellious, okay? I always have been. And Erica Jane is a little bit of a rebel, too. A you little know, bit? A little, yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> She says her anxiety gave way when she transformed into Erica Jane. It wasn't like overnight I became this like fearless badass that said, you know what, I'm gonna just like, you know, jump out here on faith and do whatever I want. Um, that was a slow process, mm -hmm. but what can I say? It's what I created, I don't know. <laughs> Erica showed us around her Pasadena estate. Inside her closet, Short shorts, you know, these are, I love short shorts. I'm from the South, okay? You got I your love Daisy, Daisy Dukes. Dukes. Come on. <laughs> I love my Daisy Dukes. Oh my God. Her style and sense of humor always center stage. Yeah, those are fun. But those are fun, and you can walk in them. Yeah, I can. I can do lots of stuff in them. <laughs> How do you think I got them? <laughs> <laughs> Sharing that signature wit, her husband of nearly 20 years, Tom Girardi. They met at a Beverly Hills restaurant. She was his waitress. And he asked you out, or did you ask him I out? I think I gave him my number, and I said, did you know I was single? He said, oh, so, oh my gosh. Go. And he called. He ca of course he called. <laughs> he called. <laughs> Tom, 33 years her senior. A lot of people wonder about the age difference. Has it ever been a factor for you? I think you have to look at two people and how they view the world and how they view life. We have much more in common than not, and we see life the same way. We enjoy each other. We're the same mm -hmm. in terms of how we look at life and everything. We're exactly the same. Was she a good waitress? She was terrific. <laughs> 
she really, <laughs> she's saying no. No, no, she was, really. Really? Yes. Okay. Um, I think she was after a good tip. <laughs> Are you proud? Oh, yeah, I'm so proud of her. I'm proud of her about everything. Mm -hmm. Another grounding force in her life, her spirituality, a way to find stillness in her hectic life. In fact, she and Tom built this chapel inside their own home. I felt like I needed some sort, not religion in my life, but I felt like I needed a place to come and pray. Could you imagine living your life without this kind of wealth? Yeah, I could. I wouldn't want to, but I can. What would that look like? Small, er, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, you know, less clothes. The man behind so much of the Erica Jane glam, her friend and creative director, Mikey Minden. It takes really a, a gay team. village. A gay village, really. <laughs> when you have an idea on paper, it's just like um, a nod to where you want to go. But then to actually see it come to life on your muse and client and friend, it's like, mm -hmm. it's just the best feeling your ever. Your muse. Yeah. yeah. I've been called a lot of things lately, yeah. Muse is good. Thanks, yes. babes. Their teamwork, making Erica's dream work at this concert in Mykonos. To be made. Wealthy or not, Erica Jane is a dreamer. I dream big, and so there's a lot of stuff to do. You know, I like to be busy, and I, I, I love to continuously create and, and set goals. I'm not going to tell you what they are. For Nightline, I'm Abby Boudreaux in Hollywood. It's expensive to be me.